just got one of these little watt meter, volt meter, in meter devices from uh, Fleabay and uh, yeah, I'm just going to connect in the heater up here and it works actually very well. This heater is on a really long lead and um, I just got it connected up to this uh, email mark one, one of my Australian uh, meters I found a couple of weeks ago on the Gold Coast and uh, it runs very well. It's a uh, Mark 1, 1060 on a pair, 400 revolutions per kilowatt hours. So yeah, I'm really pleased. This meter runs perfect and uh, yeah, I got two of this series. So I'm going to give it a quick test run. And um, yeah, I'm just testing at the same time, test this little meter here. And uh, this is about a uh, 2 kilowatt heater, but its voltage is a bit low, 223 because it sits on a 20 meter long extension lead where I'm testing it for from, so 229 volts, 8 ampere, turn one heating element off uh, just over 1.1 kilowatt so uh, yeah I'm going to do a dial test uh, the meter has options uh, watt hours, integrating watt hours unity power factor so to 0 0.256 so I'm going to synchronize this with the meter dial and uh, yeah, do a measurement on it. So I'm dealing with a constant of uh, 400, so every revolution of the disk is 2.5 watt hours. So it means 4 revolutions equals 10 watt hours. I'm going to do a count, I hope this synchronizes up reasonably well. So we start the disk now. 0 at 4. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then eleven, twelve. I don't want to make this video too boring and long, so um, at least let's spin for a little bit more. Um, the meter is in step, of course, that doesn't surprise me because it's a good quality email meter. Even with an El Klepo, Repo Klepo electronic piece of metering from China, but it uh, seemed to work at the moment fine, so yeah. Too much of a rant for now. Um, I'll let this tickle along for a little bit. Because I may use some of this footage in one of my TV destruction videos, so I capture the data of this meter spinning. Quick cut here. Okay, the meter here, the jack meter says it's 1.060. While the lowest unit dial here sits at 1, this meter has not got a decimal pointer, so we energize the device shortly. Here we got a massive voltage drop in the cable. Drops down from uh, 236 to about 228. That's about 8 volt drop, but it's a long 20 meter lead. Meter is pulsing away 8 amperes, about 1700 watts while the meter is uh, spinning here. And uh, I'll let this percolate for a while. Hello, Lucas, how are you? Oh, I'm fine. No points to get.
Okay, I'm testing out some uh, street lights and some other lights we're using for gig tonight. So uh, that's my pilot indicator. So we got this cluster here, uh, a lot of 85 watt Sylvania B triple two fours. One is a, me a metal halide LED cluster, 250 watt, and some purple LEDs as well. So we're going to try these out. I'll just give them a warm one, and then yeah, we're going to apply them a bit later on tonight and see how that's going to work. So it's quite important that uh, we haven't got cycling lamps. Looking pretty good. Okay, got all the lamps uh, connected up. The loading is about uh, 530 watts. 231 volts, 2.81 ampere. Um, I'm gonna turn them off and then let them strike, and then you'll see the start currents how it fluctuates. So we're gonna de-energize the devices. The meter will go off. De-energize 540 watts. Click. Stop the camera for a wee while. I don't give them a the full cooldown. I'll switch them back on again. Some bulbs are hot and they don't strike at the same time, so the cycles are not too bad. 380 watts. I think the metal halide may have a faulty bulb, so I may have to put a sodium capsule in it. That's alright, that's not too hard to do. Let's swing the camera over to the side here, and now I can see the results here. So they are all on, except the metal halide, which is in the middle. I've got this on here, they all seem to be fine. Back to the meter, we're back to 400 watts here, and the meter is ticking over nicely. So, let's sound quite pleased with that result actually. The MH is not the bad, happiest one, it seems to be flickering in the greeny blue spectrum side. So I may chuck another bulb in that one, while well, the other ones compare with the sodium. It's really happy there. And the 250 is extremely bright, so that's good. One of these devices, and yeah, the LED cluster and the other ones. Well, I'll keep an eye on this thing, see what happens. Well, at least let the camera roll for a wee while. I've got the shutter speed set at 50 cycles, one over 50. Well, I'm having a look for another capsule if I've got one. These are going to have a too, I think. This is awesome when you just come home last night, but now walk the driveway in daytime. The TV is just growing in the garden. Very cool. <laughs> Happy birthday from Jason and Holly and Logan. There you go, just a TV. Another TV for an experiment. And I fire that and put it in storage. Brilliant. <laughs> 